How's it going guys? So today I'm going to review for you Parallels Desktop 5 and Windows 7. Well, let me start off. I'm not really going to review anything because I have yet to open or install um, Parallels 5 or Windows 7, but I just purchased Windows 7 today and I've had Parallels 5 for about a month now. Um, what Parallels 5 is, it's a program that allows you to simultaneously run multiple operating systems um, without rebooting your machine. In my case, I'll be running Mac OS 10 and Windows 7. Um, now, some of you are probably wondering why are you wanting to run Mac OS 10 or uh, Windows 7 on Mac OS 10. Well, uh, there's a language that I need to learn for my job and uh, the program, the online program that I use to learn that language, I have to use Windows 7 or I have to use a Windows operating system. So I purchased uh, Parallels Desktop 5, Windows 7 with them together. I can learn the language for my job. And with all that being said, more than likely I'll be able to write this off on my taxes. So it's a win-win for everybody. Um, I get a new 17 inch iMac, Windows 7, Parallels Desktop 5, a new language to my repertoire and uh, get everything going. Now there's a few videos on YouTube on how Windows or on how Parallel Desktop 5 works and how to operate within it. What I plan to cover here in this video is, is uh, how easy it is to set up, how long it takes to set up and uh, what's required for it to set up. Um, it says there's a couple rebates on here. I don't know if you can see that there. And it also says that uh, Parallels has a, let me see if I can see that here, has an application in the App Store so you can actually find or control Parallels and your other operating systems through your iPhone. So I've yet to see that. I just downloaded the app. It's free. I downloaded that there in the App Store. Um, but I'm going to test that out and uh, I'm going to let everyone know how it goes. It also says that you can run Windows up to three times faster than the previous version and it comes complete with a, a Windows experience including uh, Aerial Sport and I guess it allows you to use all the Apple gestures in multi-touch with Expose and things like that. So um, yeah, I'm going to get started on this. I'm going to let you guys know how it works. I'm not too fond of going back to Windows even though it's kind of through a virtual machine only. Um, simply because the last Windows machine I had, it was before I turned over to a Mac about three years ago. I ended up throwing off of a three, four story balcony. Um, I had a Sony buyout, not to dog Sony or anything. I have a couple of their products. In fact, my HD camcorder that I'm using to record this video is a Sony. But um, the Sony buyout that I had at the time was way overpriced, uh, way overrated, and uh, went way over the edge. No pun intended. Anyway, so. I hope uh, this video goes well. I'm going to let you know how long it takes and by the end hopefully you'll have a better uh, example of how easy it is to set up Parallels Desktop 5 along with Windows 7. So, talk to you later. Okay, so now I've got my uh, Parallels disk installed and I have ran the update, did the install of the update and I've got everything ready to go here on my desktop. So it gives me two options, a new Windows installation or import a virtual machine. Well, I don't have a virtual machine yet, so I'm going to do the new Windows installation and see how this goes. All right, so now I'm going to select the uh, operating system, which is going to be through the hard drive. So I'm going to go ahead and click uh, continue. And I'm going to be using Windows 7, so click continue. And I'm going to do a typical install. I don't need Express or Custom. I'm going to just do a normal, typical install. So, uh, you know, Express is kind of a light version custom in case you want to get more refined into uh, what kind of virtual machine you're going to put. I'm just going to go with the typical install here. So uh, I think that's what I'll click. And now I need to name the virtual machine. I'm going to leave it as the Windows 7, but I am going to check to let other users access this virtual machine. The reason for that is, well, I have other users on my 27 inch iMac. Yes, I'm sorry, I know earlier in the video, I said there's a 17 inch iMac. I don't have one. I don't have a special iMac in case you're crazy. Um, I just messed up. So let's hit create, which was pretty fast when um, this took to create the virtual machine. 
Um, I was kind of worried because the bar, the little I don't know, progress bar went too fast, but all it was really doing at this point was creating a virtual machine so you can install Windows on it. And I'm going to insert my Windows disk now. And here I have Windows booting up through the virtual machine. Now, one thing I really do like about Parallels Desktop 5 as opposed to um, Boot Camp or VM Firmware is, well, Parallels, you can do what it says, what its name is. You can run it parallel with the other operating systems you have. Um, Boot Camp, there's nothing wrong with Boot Camp. That's the default software that comes with Mac OS X or Snow Leopard, uh, which happens to be an upgrade of Mac OS X. But I don't want to have to reboot my computer every time I want to use a different, oper a different operating system. So I chose to go and pay 80 bucks and uh, purchase Parallels Desktop 5. Now it says it has a $40 rebate and there's another card inside the actual product that says it has another $20 rebate. So hopefully if I'm able to cash in on these rebates in time, then I can get this for, well, about 20 bucks if you really want to get down to crunchy numbers. Um, but yeah, that's you know that's the real reason why I chose to go with uh, Parallels 5. Everything you're seeing here is uh, going pretty much live here. Uh, it, you know, I didn't really cut any video out of this. The only video I've cut was, um, you know, little things that I was doing with the mouse or kind of reading along the screen that, you know, things you guys didn't really need to see. Um, okay, so here we go. My Windows is starting finally, which is pretty good, which it, in all in all, this probably took about 30 minutes for this whole install and we're starting windows here and okay so now it lets me select my language um my my time and currency format and the keyboard input which all of it's going to remain us because that happens to be where i am right now anyway um so let's hit next And now we're gonna hit install now. Okay, so now it asks what type of installation do I wanna do? I'm gonna do a custom installation because I'm not upgrading from anything. And it's gonna allot me 64 gigabytes, which is plenty. I have a one terabyte hard drive. I don't need anything bigger. Um, so we're gonna click 64 gigabytes, hit next. And now what this is gonna do is gonna write all the files. And as you can see, it says all that that's all the information we need right now. Your computer will be restarting several times during the installation. Um, one thing I didn't know while I was actually going through this installation is that it's not going to restart your actual computer. It's going to restart the virtual machine. Um, I found this out by walking in on it a couple times while I was waiting for it to uh, uh, write the files or expand the Windows files. But yes, it, it, it will only really restart the virtual machine, which is, to be honest, something I didn't know and I didn't really think of at the time, I guess. Um, so once it's done expanding all these files and installing the features and upgrades and all the other hoopla, I guess, um, we'll go on. Okay, so now we have, it's the setup is complete and I'm gonna go ahead and type in my uh, username and I'm gonna name the machine. And then I'm gonna hit enter or next. I'm going to type in my password and the password hint, which you guys don't need to see. Sorry. Then I'm going to hit next. And then I'm going to enter my product key. Sorry, guys, I'm not giving away any free information here. Um, I did purchase the legal copy of Windows and Parallels 5, so I'm not going to give anything out. I know I give things out in the past and I will give plenty of things out in the future, but not today. I need this product and I'm going to use it wisely. So I'm going to enter my time and my date um, for the purposes of having the correct time and date on my computer and any other software that may need to use the time and date features. And uh, we're going to go ahead and leave that the same. Hit next. And now it's going to finalize all my settings and it's actually going to start setting up Windows 7. All in all, this video was uh, pretty well. Um, it didn't take too long. It actually took about 30 minutes, as I said before. It went fairly easy, and all I really have to do is go through Windows and set up all my settings, all my internet settings, all my other, you know, good things that I need to go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you uh, have any questions or concerns,
Leave me a message. Please rate, subscribe, and most of all, I hope you enjoyed.